Hi, my name is Samantha. I'm in my fourth year in the Applied Animal Biology program. I chose this program because I knew I wanted a career working with animals. I wasn't sure what that would look like, so I thought being in this program would give me opportunities to find out what my interests are and what my passions are and what I can do after my undergrad. I was interested in going to veterinary school, but then I realized I didn't like the medical side of animal biology. So I felt like being in this program, since it was a bit of a newer program in the faculty, would allow me to gain experience and knowledge in other fields that work with animals, such as like animal welfare and research. I found it difficult in first and second year to get to know some of my professors and uh, fellow students because I was in a lot of larger classes with um, a lot of other science students. Uh, I realized though, if I, you're just able to start a conversation with people, then that makes it a lot easier to get to know others. Memorable course for me would be App by 398, which was Research Methods in Applied Animal Biology. This was the course that got me an introduction into research and uh, the different avenues that you can go with research. My tip for potential app by students would be to grab hold of like any opportunity that comes their way because you never know where uh, the opportunity would lead. really memorable experience for me has been my time at the UBC Dairy Education and Research Center. I was uh, a research assistant for a graduate student that was working on something called the CAF Benchmark Program. And this is a program that looked at different dairy calf management practices um, on several farms in the Fraser Valley. And through this project we were able to collect data from calves such as uh, blood samples. With that we're looking at uh, something called passive transfer of immunity. So how well farmers were able to manage their colostrum, which has a lot of really important immune proteins in it. We also took uh, heart to girth measurements of the calves. With that, we were looking at the average daily weight gains of the calves. With all of this data, we were able to create reports that we shared with farmers and their uh, respective veterinarians. We were able to build relationships with farmers in the community, while also strengthening relationships between the farmers and their own veterinarians. Living at the Dairy Center, I have the amazing opportunity to help out with different chores around the farm. And that includes bringing cows to and from the milking parlor during milking time, and also applying the milking apparatus to the cows. I was also uh, helping out with uh, calving of cows. So if a cow was having her baby, I was able to help out with that procedure. So when the calf is born, I'm able to feed the calves uh, their colostrum that they need and also monitor them for a short period after they're born. Um, so although my main role was to help with the calf benchmark program, I was also able to help out with several projects around the dairy center and that included uh, working with calves, maybe um, housing and nutrition or even looking at uh, the adult lactating cows, looking at reproduction techniques and nutrition for them as well. So with all of these experiences, I can see how the research that's done here can be applied to management practices at dairy farms around the area.